Hey everybody, it's LaShonda, Queen King Slays, or LDK. So today is Tuesday, and we're going to have our first Talk About It Tuesday. So Talk About It Tuesday is when you all give me a question or a topic to discuss, and we talk about it. So of course I'm here, so I'm going to talk about it. But what I expect and hope is that you all will continue the conversation below. So you'll give your feedback, you'll give comments, you'll ask questions, you'll engage with other members of our community in a respectful and supportive way, and we will talk about it. So let's have our first Talk About It Tuesday. So we got a question from Weza, and her question was so awesome. I'm looking forward to discussing with you all. So Weza asked, how do we break down our internal walls so that it's okay to be more honest and open with our emotions. Girl, that is a hard question, but we're gonna talk about it today. So there's kind of three overarching concepts that I think uh, can help us to begin to break that down. I'll kind of talk about it from a more fluid perspective. I'll talk about it on the side of like self, and then separately I'll talk about it in dealing and working with other people. So the three overarching concepts that I like to bring forth are thinking about our history versus our present and thinking about uh, safety versus fear. I'm sorry, trust versus fear. And then also thinking about safety versus not feeling safe. So those three concepts we'll use both to talk about self and also to talk about others. So when you think about... Um, these internal walls, um, being honest and open, like where do walls come from? Why do we even have walls? Well, honestly, walls are okay. They're a protective measure. They're what we use to make sure that we are taken care of, that we're safe, and they start somewhere. So that's where the history versus present comes in. You have to start to think about how you grew up, your younger self, uh, the younger Lashonda, uh, the younger boys of the younger you. Um, so when you think about your younger self, ask yourself, how was my voice developed? Um, was my honesty and openness safe in my family? Uh, was it safe at school with my teachers, with my peers? Uh, was it safe in my community? Um, for some people, that answer is no. And you kind of start to see really early why you have these walls and why they're so high and so thick and why you don't want to be honest and open with your emotions. Um, your younger self might have experienced that it wasn't safe. So like fast forward to the present, think about your adult self. Um, how's your voice been developing as an adult? Has it been open and safe uh, to speak up, to, to express emotions visually or visibly, or even inside your own head? Um, also thinking about your younger self, were your decisions and thoughts and feelings constantly criticized or judged or seen as a negative thing? Or were they affirmed? Were they welcomed? Were they asked for? Um, you got to kind of think about what happened in the past. Um, when thinking about trust and fear, um, you want to kind of think about how you feel about yourself. Do you trust yourself to make decisions? Do you trust yourself to make mistakes? Do you give yourself grace when you make mistakes? Um, if you don't feel um, that you can trust yourself, it's hard to be honest and, and let those walls down because you can't even trust yourself according to you. Um, also, this goes for all people, but those identifying as women are oftentimes um, given this more than men. But do you feel like you've been taught that you're complaining or whining versus expressing valid concerns or feelings? So having our uh, feelings and our thoughts and our emotions validated um, can lead to a place of feeling fearful about expressing them or um, trusting in those, in those emotions. Um, all these concepts are really similar. So like going into safety and, and not feeling safe or safe and unsafe. Uh, think about how safe you've been with others externally and how has that affected you on the inside of your head. Like if your uh, thoughts and feelings weren't safe with your family, um, that is going to affect how you think. It's going to affect your cognition and how you, 
you process things in your own mind. But more importantly than what other people think and say, um, what kind of self-talk do you have? Uh, what does your inner voice sound like? Is it an inner critical self-voice? Is it a positive uh, self-voice? Um, I totally get that you want to be honest with yourself. Um, and sometimes that's not always positive, but how are you speaking to yourself? Uh, are you safe with yourself? Like that's really important. Um, so we'll stop with talking about the self and kind of transition a little bit into others. Um, so thinking about that history versus present thing again, it's, it's really important to kind of assess, um, your younger self again, uh, think about your family of origin. That's usually where people's biggest, um, walls are formed or even at school, um, where you spent the most time at. So think about, um, in your history, um, where did you learn it was safe to express open and honest emotions and where did you learn it was unsafe? Um, was it a difference with, uh, strangers or people that you didn't know? Was it a difference with like extended family members? How was it, um, uh, to express yourself and be honest and open with your friends? Um, and also sometimes like we also have certain ways that we're triggered by certain types of people. So say, I don't know, say you grew up and you, um, were in church, um, was it safe to be honest there? Was it safe to express emotions? What about um, with your parents? Uh, what about with older people? What about with siblings? Or if you're female identified, was your voice and your honesty regarded differently or minimized by men or men vice versa? I mean, did the women kind of shut you down with you know, the way that they wanted to express themselves? So. That history is, is very important in kind of determining your voice and working um, forward into your present. Like we have these walls that we create and they are safety measures. They are barriers to protect us. But when we're young, we need certain measures of protection. And as an adult, we may not need those same things. So kind of thinking about um, how are those walls serving you as an adult? Do you still need the same type of walls? Do you still need the same level of walls? What kind of windows do you have in those walls? Can you see out? Or are you just kind of shielded from everything and everyone? Um, when you're thinking about other people and that whole concept of safe versus unsafe, uh, you can't be open and honest and transparent at the same level with everyone. So take it on a case by case basis. Uh, who is a person that you're thinking of? Uh, is it a partner? Uh, is it a family member that you have a good history with? Is it a family member that you have some trauma and some uh, adverse or, or challenging memories with? Um, so think about who the person is. Um, is it safe or unsafe to be vulnerable with them? What have you experienced before? Have you talked to them about it? Have you let them know how they made you feel? Have they made any adjustments to their choices or their behaviors? Or how they treat you. Um, lastly, we want to think about that concept again of trust versus fear. Um, being transparent is, is hard, and I'm I'm super transparent, so I understand what it's like to um, have some fear around that transparency. But I like to ask myself a couple questions when I'm thinking about uh, fear. Um, what am I actually afraid of? Um, what What do I stand to lose? What's the worst that can happen? So when I'm thinking about breaking down internal walls, I want you to think about what's the worst that can happen. If you are honest, if you express your emotions, um, what do you stand to lose? Um, is what you think you're going to lose actually reality? Um, what's happened when you've shown emotions before? Um, what's that history look like? Do you have... Um, trauma around that with everyone you can't have it with everybody right so we have to kind of think about our fears and really assess them are they are they rational um am i gonna really lose like my life or limb or my shelter am i gonna not have access to food or are my fears irrational um sometimes you gotta question yourself and that's hard 
um, especially when it comes to other people. Um, so think about who it is that you're trying to trust and be open with. Um, think about your history and your present, if you're safe and unsafe with that person. Um, what areas can you trust them in and what you're actually scared of? For me, I um, don't have a whole bunch of internal walls because I was raised to believe that it was safe. Uh, to be honest and to be open with my emotions, I will cry at the drop of a dime. Um, I will be frustrated at the drop of a dime if I need to. One thing I have learned, though, is that um, everything requires balance. So I can't cry every time I feel like it on the inside. I can't um, express my frustration or being um, mad all the time when I feel like it either. Um, so I think that internal walls are created um, because we don't feel safe. So for me, that's not a huge concern all the time. Maybe with new people, actually. I do have a little bit of a wall um, because I don't know. I don't have a history to judge by with them in particular as individuals. Um, but I hope that helps you some. Um, so just go ahead, you all. Uh, let's think about your history and your present. Uh, think about um, trust versus fear and also think about safety and being unsafe. Start at your younger self. Uh, think about all the people who were around you. Think about the places that you uh, were in and where you developed uh, your identity and your voice. And then start from there. I'd love to hear uh, your feedback on this format for Talk About It Tuesday. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic of breaking down our internal walls, how to become more honest and open with our emotions and our feelings. Um, dialogue below you all. Like I want to read these comments. I want to know what you all have to say to each other. What do you think about the things that I've shared today? How can they help you going forward? I'm just looking forward to hearing and reading and seeing what we have to say in our community. Speaking of community, we have a really wonderful community here. And I want us to make sure that we're safe and treating each other well. But when we think about our Talk About It Tuesday topics, I might actually suggest that you write things down, that you have a journal, that you make notes in your phone, that you send an email to yourself. But putting these thoughts and these memories um, and these overarching concepts and, and how you answer these questions in writing uh, can help you to start to process and organize your thoughts uh, so that you can create solutions. Um, think about who can help you work through these. Do you have a counselor? Do you have a trusted friend? Uh, do you have a minister or a uh, religious uh, leader who can help? Uh, do you have a partner that you can trust? Um, those kind of things are really important, you all. Um, I hope that something that I've said has resonated or been helpful. Uh, please, like I said, comment below. Uh, please share our page with other people. And um, until next Tuesday, I will see you for Talk About It Tuesday. And look out for a new video on Thursday for Transparency Thursday. Um, go ahead and follow our Queen King Slays page on Instagram. Also, you can follow LDK or Miss King Beauty Queen for other uh, topics in those areas. And we'll see you soon. Have a great night, everybody.